Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the van. And today I'm in the van because I've just received a delivery. Stand by, stay where you are, I'll go get the box and show you what it is. Okay, here we go. It's quite a big box and there's hardly anything inside, but... Oh, I've just realized there's something else in, here, in this box as well. That's why it's a big box, I forgot about that. Okay, so as you can see, the, all this bubble wrap here, make sure i mean there's nothing in here that's breakable really so all this bubble wrap is uh, a little bit overkill but never mind okay so what we've got in this box is these which are six pack tension rods okay now tension rods are what i'm going to use to put in my overhead cupboards to stop things falling out and bashing me on the head okay i know what some of you are thinking too late, the damage is done. But no, that's what, oh, that's what, that's not a good start. The ends come off that one, look, you see that? It's not a good start. And there it is. So, uh, it just pushes on there. Right, so these ends unscrew. It's not a good start. Cut, back to the studio. Okay, well, I'll just push this end on here. It's obviously just a push on little rubber foot. Okay, now what happens with these tension rods? And I think they are 50 centimeters. I think these are 50 centimeters and they expand to 70 centimeters. They're the ones I ordered, I think, but I'll put a link to these rods in the description down below in case anyone's interested in them. Okay, I bought them off Amazon and I can't remember how much they were. They're not much, they're not an expensive item, but if anyone is interested, have a look in the link below and if you want some, go get some. Okay, but just to show you, there's the rod. You unscrew this thinner end and that extends. Now there's obviously a spring inside here to make them spring loaded. So if I unscrew that, I'll show you how long these rods go. Okay, I keep going, keep going. I'm, I'm gonna need a wide angle lens in a minute. Okay, so keep going, keep going. I'm hoping it, and I'm hoping it doesn't keep screwing out until it falls out the end and then the spring falls out. But I'm, there, no. So that's it, it stops there. So that's how long those rods are. Okay, so if I stand there on my table, that's a good, that's a good lengthy rod. Okay. Can you see that? I hope you can see the length of that rod. Okay, yeah, it, it is. Let's have a look. It's as long as your arm. Look, from your shoulder to the tip of your arm. Obviously not everyone has the same size arms and different arms are available. Also different rods are available. I just chose these ones because they're black and it suits my aesthetics. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this back in uh, because I don't need it that far out, definitely not. And I'll go now and put one of these in the cupboard to show you how it works. Okay, so stand by and I'll be back in a second. There's my cupboard. This is just my dog food cupboard. There's the pole, the extension pole, and I've probably gone about two, two centimeters longer than the actual cupboard is. And what I'm gonna do now is push the extension, the expansion rod, the spring, get the tension on the spring and put it into the cupboard there and then the same at the other end and that should hold that nice and tight okay now as you can see things come rolling around they're not going to fall out of that cupboard now okay no one wants to be driving along and this has happened to me, you're driving along, you get to the campsite, you think, I must get the dog's food bowl out and give the dog something to eat now. You open the cupboard and a tin of beans hits you on the head. Okay. That being said, it's better than damaging my table. Okay, because there's damage, can't, no more damage can be done up here. Okay, so that's it. The rod's in place. There's nothing falling out of that cupboard now. And now I'll go around and do the other five cupboards. I have six cupboards in total and fortunately the pack of expansion rods comes as a pack of six okay so perfect anyone who's interested like i say have a look at the link below i think i've said that but just in case i haven't said it i'll edit that in later so i'm going to go around now and do the rest of the cupboards and show you how i get on i've extended the pole and now that's to go in there i'll make sure it's at the same level so we can keep it nice and straight push that expansion spring in I'll compress the spring, there you go, that'll fit in there, 
that's the spring compressed and that's it okay are they straight are they straight or do i have eyes like ben turpin if you don't remember ben turpin do i have eyes like marty feldman if you don't remember marty feldman i can't help you okay right there you go that's it there's two cupboards done nothing falling out of there look at that look at that my pasta's not falling out of there now okay so i'll take these four remaining expansion rods go to the back of the van and do the overhead loggers okay so see you back there let there be light okay so here we go now have i got the overhead lockers in there let's have a look yes the overhead lockers are in there push that box to one side because that's for a later video and i'll show you what's in there when i actually do that video hopefully this weekend okay let's climb on the bed oh. hope you can all see there now there's my overhead locker now this overhead locker on the other side here I must say that this is the one that the catch is broken on and I can't open it from the outside. I'm awaiting a new catch. So I will open that from the inside. Okay. Right. Now, expansion rods. Now. Okay. Let's unscrew this to the right size again. that should push that spring in now that seems okay go down a little bit with that okay i think that's firm enough now don't worry about this pushing on the center beam here because yes it does push on the center beam but the expansion rod that'll be on the other side will push the other way so that'll balance it out okay so don't worry about that if you are worried about it then put them in at the same time and when i say put them in at the same time what i mean is like just when you're ready to put them in put one in put the other one in straight after so you know that there's no pressure being asserted to that side okay now i've got that in place there now and i'll put them that way so that they match okay i push that spring in and there you go that goes in there that goes in there Again, straighten them up, and there you go. Should have been made with some kind of uh, safety rod in there, really, to stop things falling out and hitting you on the head, shouldn't it? But it's done there now. There's nothing falling out of there now. They've got now. These are a, a shiny sort of aluminium type pole. Um, with rubber feet so these rubber feet mean it gives a little bit of cushioning and the, the alum, aluminium aluminium or whatever material it's made of let's hope it's made of something else so you don't have to try and say aluminium um, but whatever it's made of they have little rubber feet on and those little rubber feet will push onto the the wooden bits so they won't cause any damage okay so that's the last two cupboards done now i said that I was hoping that this wouldn't add to the rattling inside the van but i've put these last two rods in and they don't rattle at all so maybe one of these rods i've got the spring is a little bit slack and that's why it's making a rattling noise i'll try and tension that up a little bit more um just to see if that stops any kind of rattle but i don't think i'm going to hear it back here anyway in this area okay so that's the job done the tension rods are in i'll just show you the last two there that's one in there and that doesn't rattle at all but it will keep stuff from falling out and there's the last one there okay so that's it a pack of six tension rods they're all done and uh hopefully you've enjoyed this quick video uh, just a little update and something that you can buy for your van to stop things falling out the cupboards and hitting you on the head okay thank you very much for watching thank you very much for subscribing and if you haven't already done so go off and subscribe now okay thank you bye bye